So today we announced the Titan RTX, and this is really exciting for Rapids. The Titan RTX has a ton of memory, uh, so 24 gigabytes of memory with NVLink, so you can have 48 gigabytes total, plus all the compute that you would expect out of NVIDIA GPU, especially with the new Turing architecture. The Titan's a really great entry point for data scientists because of the problem size that you can solve. And GPU memory is really important for data science in general. When you're doing things like ETL, joining in different data, machine learning algorithms like XGBoost or KNN or KMeans, you really want to fit it all in GPU memory. And this is just a really large GPU with a ton of uh, flops and horsepower to really complement all that memory. When you think about some of the other consumer gaming cards, they're you know, 8 gigabytes, 11 gigabytes, 12 gigabytes, but this one's 24 gigabytes. And so it really allows you to have that footprint to do sizable problems before you need to scale out to a server or other larger footprint NVIDIA GPU systems. One of the things I love about the Titan RTX is the fact that it has an NVLink bridge, so you can connect two of them together. So we actually have a demo going from QDF to PyTorch directly in a graph history, a graph visualization library, all with just two Titan RTXs. And so it really just allows you to do whole data science workflows fully in GPU memory without having to go back to system memory for the first time.